Okay, Shopify dropshipping. I did a 24 hour dropshipping challenge on the channel a few weeks ago and you guys seem to love it. So I am back and better than ever with a new challenge for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be attempting to Shopify dropship the most saturated product I can find. Now, if you've seen other videos about dropshipping, you might've heard them say that one of the golden rules is to stay away from saturated products. But in this video, I'm going to be figuring out if selling saturated products is a good way to make sales or a good way to lose everything. A saturated product Product is basically a product that every man and their goldfish has attempted to sell and for that reason there's usually heaps of competition when selling these types of products and that makes it pretty hard to sell. An example of a product like this is the fidget spinner. It gained popularity rapidly fast and for that reason a lot of people jumped on the train and tried to sell this product. So within a few weeks this product was completely saturated and no one could make money with it anymore. That was fine with me though because fidget spinners are for losers and I would never sell one of those let alone even own one of those in the first place. Now enough talk, let's actually start the challenge. So the first step is to of course, figure out which product we are going to be selling. And as I said, I'm going to be looking for the most saturated product possible. So who better to ask than my loyal, attractive, beautiful, funny, smart Instagram followers over on Instagram at Econ Baxter, because quite frankly, they know everything. So let's just ask them. Okay, so I've posted an Instagram story to see what suggestions people have for the most saturated product. So let's just wait and see the responses. <sighs> Okay, so I literally got so many responses to this and as I expected, a lot of them did talk about the posture corrector, which is hands down the most saturated product ever sold by dropshippers. But I have seen other people do this challenge and sell the posture corrector, so I wanted to switch it up a little bit and sell a different product which you guys recommended and that is the moon lamp. Now a few of the other responses definitely made me lose faith in humanity, but I'm going to do you guys a favour and not read those out loud because I'll probably get demonetized. Disgusting! Okay, so the moon lamp. A very saturated product for sure, but definitely one that could still make some sales, so I think it's a good option for this challenge. Now, I've personally been dropshipping for over three years now, and in that time frame, I have built and worked with countless amounts of stores, including this one here where I manage all the site design and that sort of thing, and this one does around three and a half thousand dollars per day in sales. And in the last three years, I have found that by far the most important factor when dropshipping is of course selling a winning product. So I'm hoping this moon lamp is a winner. And to keep it interesting, if I don't sell at least one moon lamp in this challenge, I have to give away $100 to one of you watching right now. So let's build out the store and see how this goes. <sighs> Now to start, we have to build out the website. So I'm going to start by activating the Shopify 14 day free trial and begin designing the website. I'm going to keep it clean and not go overboard, just a simple trustworthy design that's good enough to make sales. So I went to work and started designing the logo in Photoshop. I just did a basic text logo with a galaxy background and that was all that I needed. Then I went ahead and started the free trial on Shopify, picked a plan, installed the apps that I need to connect Shopify with AliExpress and began working on the store. Alrighty, so it has been about one day and I can safely say that the website is complete. I'm gonna quickly run through it here on the phone so you guys can see how it looks. So you can see we've got that logo right on the top and then a quick homepage, bring the galaxy to any living space just to keep it a little bit more professional. And then we've got the product page here. So just an image there, title, we're selling it for $49.95, turn your home into a nest of paradise and just some gifts and pretty basic description there. So nothing too crazy. So from here, I have to complete one of the most important steps in this challenge and that is setting up the ads. And this step is going to require some serious thought. So let's put on the thinking cap. All right, now this Galaxy Lamp could be a good product, but it's not something that I'd personally sell. I like to sell products which are currently trending in the market, not things which have already been super saturated. Because finding and selling products while they're on the uptrend has been the most successful strategy for me over the past three years. And to be honest, I don't have a super strong feeling that this Galaxy Lamp is going to be profitable. Regardless though, I'm going to spend some money on ads, get some traffic to the store, and see if we can somehow pull off a sale or even be profitable. But I think we're gonna need a small miracle to achieve that. <sighs> Now before I talk about the ads, I have to give you guys a chance to smash the absolute living sh** out of the like button. 
Also, if you have any questions or want any dropshipping advice or anything like that, go ahead and send me a DM over on Instagram at EconBaxter because as a lot of you know, I reply to every single DM and I absolutely love talking to you guys. But for now, let's get into the ads. So I kept the ads fairly simple for this and decided to use this picture as the ad. I could have used a video ad, but in my opinion, a product like this that doesn't solve a problem doesn't really need a video ad and I've actually seen picture ads perform better in some products. So I decided to go with the picture ad for this product. As for the targeting on Facebook, I targeted men and women aged 18 to 65 plus living worldwide, but I excluded some third world countries, which in my experience never purchased from the store because it's a waste of money to include some third world countries if they never purchase from the store. So I decided to exclude those in the targeting. So I ran four ad sets all with the same picture ad. And for each one, I set the budget to $20 per day, meaning we will be spending $80 total on ads per day. I've scheduled the ads to go live at 12 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I'll check back in with you guys at about 9 a.m. tomorrow and see how they went overnight. <sighs> okay, I messed up. So I scheduled the ads to go live, but I now realize there's a creator on YouTube who did this same challenge and sold the moon lamp successfully. And since that video went live, the amount of sellers for this moon lamp has absolutely skyrocketed. And I can now safely say that we have a 99% chance of unfortunately failing this challenge because there's literally just too much competition. Having success in a dropshipping store depends entirely on the product you're selling. And this moon lamp in particular is definitely not something that I would sell in my own personal stores. Even though I've been doing this for three years, I just don't see how I'm gonna be able to pull this off and profitably sell the moon lamp simply due to the fact that it just has so much competition. So the new goal here is to just make one simple sale because like I said I would not be doing this if it wasn't for a YouTube challenge and if we just happen to make one single sale that's fine with me. So that's the new goal and I've still scheduled the ads to go live at 12am tomorrow morning so like I said before I'll check back in with you guys at about 9am tomorrow and see how the ads performed. Alright guys, so it's 9am right now. The ads went live last night at 12am, so they've been running for about 9 hours so far. And as I expected, we haven't made any sales just yet, but I'm going to keep you updated every few hours to see if we can somehow make a sale. Second update for the day, it is now 1pm and as I expected, no sales. Alright guys, so it's about 7pm right now, it's been a few hours since my last update and somehow a miracle has happened and we have made our first sale if that focuses in. You can see that there we've made our first sale for $49.95. I've definitely spent more than $50 on ads today though, so we are definitely not profitable, but let's go in and jump into the computer and see how we actually went today. Also, it's a pretty sad day because I'm actually moving house, so it's time to say goodbye to this pool and this backyard, so you guys are going to have to look at something new in the new videos, but I might be filming a house tour for you guys in the new house so if you want to see that drop a comment down below and I'll film that for you but for now let's go into the office and see the damage see how much we've spent on ads because we have definitely not made a profit <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I'm filming this about nine days later than the last clip you just saw because I've been on holiday at a lake showing off my insane athleticism roll the clip but now let's figure out the numbers for this challenge. Now we definitely won't be profitable, but that's what I was expecting. As I said, I've worked with countless amounts of stores and have been dropshipping for the last three years. And in my experience, every time I've tried to sell a saturated product like this, it just hasn't gone well. The success rate is much higher when you sell products which are actually on the uptrend, not products which have already been completely saturated in the market. That's what I did in the challenge where I turned one cent into $1,000 online. And in that challenge, I actually started a dropshipping store and ran a successful product. So if you want to see a successful challenge, definitely go watch that because it'll give you a good example instead of this video, which is a pretty bad example. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but now let's reveal how we actually went today. So we were set to spend about $80 on ads, but the performance was so bad. So I ended up only spending around $65 because I cut the ads before the day was over just because the performance was so bad. So with that $65 of ad spend, we were able to generate one sale for $49.95, which was our goal for the challenge. So I guess this challenge is somewhat a success. But no, I'm definitely not happy with the results. <laughs> anyway, the cost to fulfill that order and purchase the lamp off AliExpress for the customer comes out to $20. So that means with the $50 in sales, we subtract the $20 of product cost, leaving us with $30. And then we have to subtract the cost of ads, which was $65. So we are already negative $35. And then we have to pay the cost of the domain, which is another $14. Meaning that all in all, this challenge, we lost $49. That's like five burritos down the drain. Five 
It could have been worse if we didn't make one single sale, but by no means are these results that I'm very excited about. 99% <laughs> of these other YouTubers won't show you the fails, but to be honest, this is the realistic aspect of dropshipping. Some products are winners and some are losers, and no matter how long you've been dropshipping, you're always going to test products which don't make a profit. It's just the way it is. I've had the thought of maybe doing a week-long dropshipping challenge where I build a store and run it in the exact same way that I would run one of my personal stores, where I choose a product that's on the uptrend, run the ads with my strategy, do everything in the the exact same way that I would on my own stores to see how much profit we can make. So if that's something you guys want to see, go ahead and smash the like button and hit subscribe because I'm definitely going to do that soon. Now, as I said before, if you have any questions or want any dropshipping advice or anything like that, go ahead and send me a DM over on Instagram at EconBaxter because as a lot of you know, I reply to you every single DM and absolutely love talking to you guys. Now, if you liked the video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you loved it, hit subscribe. But for now, that's all from me. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.